Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a video of using Duo Jackdaws for some chill T4 Dark Abyss experience. Now this is with the YouTuber called Zach. He does a lot of cool stuff, a lot of PvP stuff, but also a lot of PvE stuff. He is one of the first EVE related YouTubers I ever watched. So we're going to be doing this today. You can check him out in the link in the description below. But basically, the point of this fit right here is that it is supposed to be like a social fit. It's made to socialize. So you've got your friend and you want to do something fun with him, but you don't want to be super hardcore that you can't even like talk to each other because you're too focused on the game. This is more like something where it's quite like relatively chill, so you can earn some good isk, but also at the same time be in like chill enough to be able to just talk to each other and have a good time. So that's the way it is. This is the T4 social jackdaw. So basically, the difference is that I before used a T5 Duo one, and this one then is pretty much exactly the same as the T4 one. This is for T5s. The only difference in the T4 one that I'm using right here is that we've got a ballistic control system replaced with damage control. Now this is going to just overall make us more tankier. Plus the dark sights in T4 is going to be a lot less incoming DPS than T5, so again more chill. Then also this gives us more buffer, so we're able to survive those like horrible wrecking shots by Charybdis Tyrannos and other kind of NPCs as well. So overall we're going to have a really good time in this. The thing is we're doing T4, so it's obviously going to give less isk than the T5, but still it's good isk. Like if we look here in Abyss Tracker, we see average run is 61 million isk, and then we run maybe I don't know four or five of these now, maybe four an hour. So maybe 240 million isk coming in an hour and then divided by two, maybe 120 million, stuff like that. It could sometimes be more. It depends a little bit on the time. I mean, average run speed of these is like about 12 minutes, I would say, something like that. We don't have them pretty fast, even though we've only got two damage modules right here. But these are really good because you don't even need any implants with these. Like this fits perfectly without any implants. Uh, the only implants I use in the video is that I use some basic like uh, DPS implants for missiles. We do not even need them. They hardly do any difference. This is something that I think is very chill. And very fun to do with the threat. So hope you guys enjoy the runs we do. I'm supposed to oh, hope, hopefully it'll be relaxing. It's, it'll be the first time I like I've done it in a while, and I guess you haven't used the jackdaw either. Uh, I've right. used the jackdaw quite a lot, but not uh... in abyss. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I've used it quite a lot. Oh, okay, but okay. Not yeah. like I've always used rockets. Hmm, I get you. Okay. I guess it will be a little sort of representation of. Not used to using something that used before. If you're not used to like mm -hmm. myself, I'm in a perimeter. Uh, I've just switched out my clone here to a cheap clone, in case you know. Just in case, dude. Mm. <laughs> you can be quite liberal with how much you use the capacitor booster. Like you don't have to think, oh, I'm gonna waste it, or oh, it's gonna be running out of charges. Like I've, I've many times in waves just uh, spam the capacitor booster and I had not even used a third of cap charges. The remote booster as well, like you've got the most amount of HP from the local one and then yeah. really the remote one only use it when you need to. And also if one of us gets like muted out hard, we can maybe use a bit less our local booster and just rely on the other guy. Then there'll be obviously less cap usage as well. Oh shit, yeah, that's only a small cap, but yeah, I see, I see. I don't normally use the mediums there, but... Normally solo when I do mine, dude. The power grid is brutal. That's why you need them genos, dude. It's so good. <laughs> Special fits. I always, I like, many times I go on your fits and I think, why can't I use them? Like, oh, yeah, Zach uses the special <laughs> sneaky implants. Genos are just so good, mate. Don't use them here, though, just in case, because, you know, we're going in the... Yeah. I'll... All right, I'll activate filaments right here. Just double check my implants. What's this? Uh, firestorm or something? No, this is uh, dark. It should be dark at least. Yeah, it's dark. T4 it's dark. Just explosive then, is it? Yeah, use explosive by default. Just because the angel wave is one of the deadly ones and it'll be good to use explosive there. Trigger halflings as well. They do a lot of damage as well, so it's good to have explosive by default. And also make sure you have sharpshooter. Yeah, you've already got it. I've not got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll jump in now. Oh, also, wait, don't jump in, don't jump. Have you jumped in? Nope. No, okay. Um, I'm going to use a tag system, or try to use it at least. Have you got the tags like up on your overview? Uh, we'll, we'll do a minute, one sec. Yeah, I tend to use that. As I said before, it might be a little bit uh, rusty in the beginning because it's a long time since I've used, like, done any co-op abyss actually at all. I might be a little bit rusty as a quote-unquote FC. <laughs> <laughs> 
but hopefully that'll be go good. And if it if it doesn't go good, at least it'll be fun for people to watch. <laughs> and watch us die in a fire. Yeah. Hey, right, dude, gotta go. All right, I'm activating. I shall follow your lead. So I only use the boost if you need to, because you're not cap stable with it. But you are cap stable with a booster. Okay, this is easy. Okay, you see tanks? Yep. Okay, just approach me. Yeah, spark grip guy over here because EM damage. And also, yeah, locked up. The only thing I heard about, like, uh, remote repairs and stuff on normal ships, because I'm so used to using the triglavians, is like the super short range, right? Yeah, true, true. I mean, you ha the local boost is still a lot better. It's just more like an extra, you know, just in case. If you approach me, are you approaching me? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so number two now. And yeah, they'll have so hard time hitting with all the dark side. They're short range by default. Easy money. The great thing about darks is that they're really cheap filament cost. I'll give you a bit of remote reps there. You tag some more targets? Yep. Yeah, I got it. Bro, I'm not as fast as you, I don't think. Mm, how fast do you go? Uh, 776. Really? Only? You should train maybe navigation skills or something, because I'm not using any thing particular. I think it's me acceleration control. Fine. Only at level 4 or something. Mm. Ain't got time to be training stuff like that. Training Loki stuff at the minute, man. Yeah, it's not too much of an issue. It takes quite a little time to train those navigation skills. Damn, son, you're doing 969. Hold on. Yeah. Maybe you're missing, maybe missing something else here. Wait, wait, have you got the afterburner? Is it Corelli A type afterburner? Yeah, 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 type, yeah. Mm, okay. Because uh, I'm not using. No, I'm not using any booster that, or implant that affects velocity. I've just got some basic um, firing, like missile implants in. Or oh, threes. Uh, pretty bad loot right there, 13 million. Oh, dude, the loot in the, the TF4 earlier was terrible as well. It was literally 20 mil or something. In Cruiser? Or which one? Yeah, Cruiser, yeah. Yeah, it's like that sometimes. The great thing about T4 is that you can sometimes, you're still close to T5 and T6, so you can sometimes get those good filaments. Like, they're worth a lot. Let me know when you're ready to jump. Be ready in about two seconds. Mm -hmm. Martial Wave can be that. quite deadly. But just basically, whoever's primary in martial wave just goes to defense mode, and then it's usually an easy ride. You just take out the marshals. Yep, I'm good. I'm jumping. Nice. Don't mind. Don't uh, hesitate shouting at me if I forget the remote rep. <laughs> 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 it has happened with me and Ibad that we forget to remote repair each other, and it's not a good time. I can see that you got a bit of newts on your tail, but uh, we're gonna go for them next. Just the Kikimoras. Okay, yeah, yeah. But if how is your capacitor doing? Is it bad? Uh, it's like quarter left at the moment. Okay, because you don't have. To, it doesn't seem like we have to use much remote repairs since they're missing a lot, right? The Damovix die quickly. I'm dry now. You're dry on capacitor. Yep. Okay, just okay. Focus the starvers, and uh, just try to keep your multi spec up. Don't uh, think much about the uh, the shield booster because I can just shield boost you. I think you've got primary of most of them, dude. So yeah. Okay. I noticed that. I probably should have gone for the Starvis first, to be honest, because I didn't know the Kikis would apply so bad. I thought they would have applied better. Go for this extraction node over here. Got no afterburner because of the cap, etc. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, uh, I'll get close to you. Yeah, we're fine. We're good, yes, we're good. Yeah, okay. I am um, fine now. And just uh, go for any really Kiki Morris. Mm, you do it in this order. So I could probably it's a lot better to focus fire. But if I mean if nothing is t tagged or if I get to tag like I just did now, just shoot anything. All good. I was still following what you were shooting, dude. Cool, cool. Well, I'm clipping into this asteroid. <laughs> can you can make your way towards the cache? To be honest, you can maybe take one of these extraction nodes. But I can't really be bothered. How much isk are we sitting on right here? Nineteen million. You still you earn a decent amount of isk from the T4s and destroyers. Good one, it's easy as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's easy as well, like, it's quite chill. I've actually got a, a tune that can run the uh, the Paladin now as well, yes. Oh, really? Or well, do you have anything make... you plan on doing with it? I'm gonna do a vid, mate, aye. The missions, or what do you plan on doing? Uh, well, I wanna jump into some wormhole stuff, to be fair. But Ooh. I'll probably do some level 4s as well. 
Oh, okay. Obviously polarized and all that sort of shit. I see, I see. Yeah, that would be quite cool. I'll see, boy. You could approach the transfer condor. Alright, I'll just grab the loot here. You could, um, I was thinking also you could maybe do Triglavian hunting as well, so we could both go with Triglavian hunting, you know, dual paladins, just snipe away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. Or I could bring good mine into the wormhole with you. <laughs> approach this big loot pinata. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm soon in range of the transfer conduit. Okay, I'm jumping now. Pretty quick too, considering we've only got two damage modules as well. Okay, go for, go for that starving Ved Damovic, then the Vedmax afterwards. Roger. I'm not seeing any navigation skills I'm missing here. I wonder if it's me uh, actual jackdaw skill. Maybe. No, I don't see anything here strange oh i think i know why have you claimed some booster today like from the daily login rewards oh shit velocity penalty uh, yeah damn, i thought so that happened sometimes with me <laughs> that i like once how i did was that i claimed like a, a booster and then i just see oh shield boost amount minus 20 percent, and i was in a t6 like oh no <laughs> <laughs> go for the ghosters after the vedmax the ghosting damas i've got the tags a bit messed up right here something like this Ooh, I need some reps too. Yep, give me your reps. Go in defense mode if you're uh, a bit shaky. I think you took it's a wrecking, right? Ball. Big one, mate. It's the trigs, dude, man. They're just crazy on the wrecking shots, man. Because hmm. they're like, they even though they're not hitting us, they're still spooling up. They're just, I think, or well, I think so. They're just not. They're just missing all the time. So they're still like spooling up. It's just that they're not hitting. Oh, I gave the Red Mac an accidental remote rep hat. <laughs> <laughs> The Draug is a nice, especially like for like uh, a relaxing style. I feel like mm -hmm. in some ways this is good because you're not using as expensive ships. So it's not like, uh, what is that? How much do Draugos go for nowadays? Uh, well, maybe they're cheaper. 600 mil still at yeah, least. Okay. Well, I've got my all set up. I've been running them with a uh, friend. Pretty good. Must mm -hmm. be very relaxing, the T4s. Do you do them in T5s ever? T4s, T5s, yeah. Oh, got a cataclysmic, but it was only worth a uh, million because it was firestormed. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> if it was electric, it would just be like 40 million just right there. Okay, the loot overall was pretty bad, 37 million. Let's see now, what is the average? Because it fluctuates a bit on Abyss Tracker. Although the tank on these ships is really solid. Like You got that wrecking shot right there, but we boosted straight up. Oh, like you say, you can go into defensive and stuff now. Exactly, so. that as well. So you've got like layers upon layers. You can get the remote rep, then you've got your own, you know, tactical mode as well. Mm, okay. Okay, so it wasn't as much as I thought, but T4 destroys on average give 60 million is Kasai. No, it's not that bad. Really doing more than a lot of Nullsec ratting. And I mean, we finished the sites also quite quickly considering it's T4 as well. Me and me, uh, what are you all smashing like just TF3s and the Kikis? Mm. Just absolutely wreck through them. Oh. I never considered the Kikimura much, but I can imagine there's a lot of DPS. Now, don't jump out. Don't uh, don't, don't jump out, because they can sometimes be gank. Because <laughs> so what I do is I just put propulsion mode in preemptively, so that we can uh, go and like almost insta a line out. I don't know. It could yeah. perhaps be better even just to go in defensive mode. Do you not think? So? And then we just attack them ourselves. But I, don't know. I think if there Depends. was. Like, Depends what's there, really. Yeah, it depends what's there. I'll go in uh, propulsion mode. I'll just jump now. I'll let you know how it is. It's unfortunate. They're just about under insta aligning with uh, Jackdaw. But there's one guy who hunts people in a uh, coercer. Okay, it's nothing. There's one guy who hunts the, like, the people doing these kind of sites Drive like we're doing now active. in a coercer. That Addict Dash. You remember that guy? Dude, dude, that's what we should be doing, man. We should be killing abyss runners. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I feel too cruel. I'll dump the loot in the free clone bay right here. <laughs> but like, if that guy tries attacking us, we could like it's uh, just go in like a sharpshooter or something and just blap his face because he's just in a one core. So we'll be able to kill him before he'll be able to kill us. I don't think he would. Uh... Well, unless you're panicked, I don't think you'd be able to kill a jackdaw easily anyway. Hmm. I've seen him kill jackdaws, but. Uh, I think a lot of people are like AFK when they drew, like, you know, exit the site. That's why he manages to get them. All right, I'm jumping in now. 
I think it might be it, yeah. But I think it's over a thousand because when I was doing the, the um, you know, when you kill the, the haulers and stuff for the skins and that, mm. I think it was sort of like over a thousand for that. I've never uh, done that's that. That's another video I've got saved. I need Do to get you, made. You get a lot of it's from that? I've never done them. Eh, it depends on the skin drop, really. All right, so Spark is number one. We need to get out of this tachyon cloud over here because it's going to shoot them straight at us. We'll go towards this extraction node to the left. It will um, we can just grab the loot from there since it'll be easy, easy access. Also, maybe a good idea to get out to that blue cloud. What's your range on your light missiles? 53, okay, that's good. So I don't want to make us out of range. I was just on the 53, something like that. Thanks. <laughs> It'd be or funny if it? the missiles got the, the yeet bonus as well from the clouds. <laughs> they might do, actually. Maybe. Or do you know if they don't? I'm not sure. Like, missiles is something I rarely use, dude. Mm. Like, especially for PvE. Apart from the Gila and shit like that. Cool if they had rapid rocket launches. <laughs> Bro. They're a frigate Gila right there. <laughs> what is balance? Yeah. Getting some big volleys on these guys. That's the nice thing about light missiles. So boom, you see the 71k hit because it's now minus 50% because you can get like minus 70 and minus 50% of the turret optimal range. So this will be a little bit tougher than the previous one because the previous one we had minus 70. Minus 70 would be like nice, you know, they would hardly be able to hit anything. These can do a lot of damage as well, these um, aggro things. Yeah. Have to watch out. Like drones, yeah, like going for your drones and shit. In this case, we are the drones. <laughs> <laughs> Charybdis is like a problem when it comes to wrecking shots, but we actually have enough uh, buffer to survive a wrecking shot from Charybdis Tyrannus and T4. I thought we... Like the T5 one I use is not able to survive a wrecking shot, but in Sharpshooter we are actually. Even in mm -hmm. Sharpshooter. Ooh, 124 million, just like that. Medium Disintegrator Specialization. Dank loot. <laughs> kind of the cool thing about the, you know, the co-op as well, because you're sort of cycling through more loot. Uh, loot drops i'm guessing that it makes it easier to get them i just feel like i get them more caught frequently when i run with other people yeah, nice. yeah. i still find it like really rare dude hmm. it's gonna reload right here always oh, good to have full clip are you ready yep i'm jumping let's go what kind of wave have we got here something that wants to wreck us hard oh just basic rogue drones the rogue drones can actually be quite deadly so don't underestimate them we'll go towards that blue cloud and we'll just go snare caster and spark lances snare caster and spark lances just do like that can't be bothered to type attack them on snare caster wave if they if they get close to us they will actually do a lot of damage i've lost a hawk that had pretty good hp per second but they were just able to get close to me and then they were just uh, annihilated me yep it's rogue bloody drones uh, the rest of them just go for any of them it doesn't matter which uh, order just uh, take out whatever is closest really Roadmap should be fine here it's only like like you say these are on your issue in the higher waves really mm. like, like as you can see now they are doing a bit of damage when they're able to like get on top of me but i mean they were still really tanky it's not that bad just don't underestimate them because i have many times before it's like what the hell where is all this damage coming from But towards the bioadaptive now, it's, uh, I think we can face tank them pretty easily. Yeah, especially now that there's so few left as well. I need to restock a bit on ammo as well after this. Only 1k ammo. Popity pop, popity pop. This is this is a good time. Exactly what you set out to, to be doing. It's like yeah. chill, isn't it? It's supposed to be a chill social activities act. <laughs> <laughs> we're supposed to be able to socialize. not Because the thing is, like when when me and Ibad were doing T5s, I thought, oh, this is going to be a really cool video. But I had to, there was like so much like silence because we were so super concentrated on it. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, it wasn't maybe the most interactive experience we had. But here, it's a lot more chill. Especially in the Cinnabar wave. Oh my god, that was so high stress. <laughs> we managed to pull through, but T5 Cinnabar wave is no joke. Only 5 million right there. What else you got coming out video wise? Oh, Triglavian hunting stuff, uh, exploration stuff. You inspired me. Um, do a bit more Gila stuff as well. Trying to prove that my T4 hybrid Gila is good because a lot of people doubted it. <laughs> All right, I'm jumping now. Works, it works, huh? Yeah, it works. And I use Nirvana implants, like, just for, for relaxing sake. I can do it without Nirvana implants. 
uh, it's just so powerful with the Nirvana and Blast. Your buff is like obscenely big. All right, uh, we go for Spark Grip. Oh, no, no, we go for Snare Casters, all Snare Caster waves, just any Snare Casters. And then Spark Grip is the afterwards, the Brogue Jump Battle Cruiser. Could be good actually since we're in this uh, like an automatic suppressor, but we'll just keep going to the side. Because these guys, if they web us in place, they might uh, cause the Battle Cruisers to hit hard. Just any Snare Casters. And then Spark Grip and Ember Grip, like the order uh, there can have them locked up just in case locked in place a bit you don't have to give me so much uh, remote shield to save a cap because uh, i'm not taking much damage okay now i'm taking a bit of damage but it's not that bad spark grip is like straight on me might have been actually a good idea to just take out the spark grip straight away because he would have like, probably died by now you can save your capacity you don't need to remote shield boost me i'll just let you know if you need to remote shield boost. die spark grip why is he not dying it's taking quite a long time this guy because I looked at his resist profile, actually it's best to use explosive, so it should be going out quite quick. Okay, he's down now. It's funny how like the one we uh, like the the one that's most problematic, Spark Grip, he's the one who managed to get on top of our face instantly. <laughs> and then uh, three over there. I think would, yeah. I think it would be cool to have oh. like one. Can you give me a oh, shield? Sure. Yeah, go on. Uh, I took a wrecking shot to the face right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, Cena go down, dude. I was like, what the heck? A whole alarm or... Yeah. yeah, it was a 1k damage wrecking shot. But that yeah, was like... Sad. Look how powerful our boosts are. They just go instantly mm -hmm. up when we pay attention. Yeah, how lucky those guys. Yeah, it's chill. We got the damage control as well. So, got pretty meaty structure and armor anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, it would be pretty... Do you know think it would be cool if I want to go rockets and one like light missiles? Huh? Yeah, it might be. I've uh, ne I never. The reason I don't particularly like the Rockies is just that we can we're able to do DPS very easily even in defense mode since our range will be pretty good there, and just in general we're able to do damage straight away. But it's really it sounds like a good idea to have rockets because of just the crazy speed time we'll get with that. And I think Jackto has decent uh, bonus to them anyway, like with the range. I mean, missile. I mean the lights are still good to do. Tons of damage, dude. Hmm. I think rockets apply better, don't they? A little bit. Yeah, they will do, yeah, yeah. Could be good in those freak waves. Alright, so the total haul was 159 million. But if we exclude if, if we exclude the book, then we get 52 million. It's alright. Some nice That's little it's nice isk right there, just from what is this? Eleven minutes work. <laughs> Let's keep range on this. Okay, I'll go in propulsion mode. And I'll jump. I can jump. I'm gonna jump now. It would not be nice to get ganked with the skill book. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people, that Addict Dash guy, some people have fought back. I saw him once getting wrecked by a jackdaw. It just looked like someone who's. They tried to attack, like as if we were doing right now, like, you know, the T4 ducks. Yeah. I killed a guy in a destroyer that was trying to kill my worm once. You know, oh, really? Got wrecked. What kind of yeah. destroyer was he in? Uh, I think it was just a cormorant or some shit like that. Mm, okay. But, um, that's like if you. Obviously, I overheated everything straight away. That's probably what saved us, but he, he died like instantly. Mm. Docking request accepted. I used uh, once a uh, worm and I got absolutely annihilated by the guy because I was like AFK. I was no, just watching something. <laughs> on, I was watching something on my second monitor and then I just see. I hear a notification. You know, a notification you get when someone ganks you. I was like, wait, mm -hmm. there's no way that someone could have ganked me. That must have been just like someone sending an Eve mail, right? And I just looked there. My ship is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. But the look here. Do. That's, that's why people do it, you know? Yeah, it's a lot of money they earn. I All used right. to make so much money gank and mission runners, man. You did? Oh, what, uh, what kind of stuff did you do it in? Uh, NATOs. NATOs, okay. Obviously because it's all battleships, isn't it? So, need the need the big Hold guns for that. Mm. You spend like two, Double three hundred million, you can accepted. like kill marauders and shit without when they haven't got the tank switched on and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's on gates, right? That's the highest or easiest place to catch them. Or do you do it in yeah, the mission? Gates and uh, undocks. As soon as somebody undocks, they're not really pressing the mods on straight away, either, so... Yeah, okay, okay. I'm just gonna get oh, some more ammunition. Active. The light missiles. I used to gank... well, not gank people, but I used to kill people in me Hulk years ago, dude, that can't flip <laughs> us and shit. Really? Oh, that's cool. 
still one of my most viewed vids, pretty much. <laughs> one of the top top ten on my channel. Yeah, I'm gonna buy these light missiles for from uh, Tranquility Trading Tower. After this next site, we can take can we take a little bit of a break? I've been playing a lot of EVE for four or today. I've been playing a lot before this yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm glad you uh, managed to have time. It's not always that our schedules line up. You seem to be very busy with your long shifts. Just work, dude. I've been ill this week as well, so oh. I'm probably hear it, hearing me voice. It's like... Ugh. I think you sound like normal. So you don't sound bad. Raging Darks. And these are good filaments to do the cheap price as well. L uh, slightly more expensive than T4 Firestorm, but it's like very little difference. All right, I'm activating filament. You good on uh, ammo and boosters and everything? Yeah, loads, man. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. The rogue drone. Uh, the reason we've got EM is for primarily the rogue drone battleship because his shield is still pretty big, even though he's not primarily a shield tank. But he's still got a big shield, and he has no EM resist, so you go through that very quickly. Nice. And also for Sancho waves, I think they could be also be good with the EM. More Rogue Jump Battle Cruisers, just always Rogue Jump Battle Cruisers we've got going on here. Okay, we've got the Spark Grip. I'm just jumping in, dude. I. Hmm. FC never said jump, so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I said I was jumping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'm moving towards this uh, node on the left. There's that Spark. You've got tanks, or should I tank again? Uh, I've got tanks. Okay. It would be nice to get some more interesting waves. We've got pretty boring waves so far. Cinnabal waves to prove a little bit more effectiveness of what we are carrying. Is uh, that penalty on your velocity still active? Yeah, I got another 10 minutes on it. Mm -hmm. I think you can, I'm not sure, but I think you can like do it so that if in your Citadel, you just delete your clone, like if it's an empty clone, and just use a new one, then it'll remove it. Yeah, yep. Does that work? I've not tried it myself. I just heard yeah, people. Just self-destruct your part or whatnot yeah mm. used to do that all the time like on the big roams and stuff like if you you take your boosters and jitter like your, obviously your exiles or whatever and if you had shit rolls then you would just suicide your pod and start again mm. okay okay i don't have much experience of that but i heard it's good for people who rely a lot on boosters the doesn't affect the i heard that it doesn't affect like the cerebral accelerators right oh, i'm not sure okay that's the training things, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I used them a lot. Yeah, I thought I'd think something like that would just stay in, no matter what. Because mm -hmm. it would make sense, because they're quite expensive. It would be quite unfortunate to just lose them from losing your pod. <laughs> were you playing on the uh, learning skills when the game is? Uh, no, I don't think so. What were they? You see, back in the day, there was a whole subset of skills that are based on how fast you could train. Yeah. So you'd, you'd gain like one point every level sort of thing. But uh, they all got refunded and yeah, I had like 15, 20 mil less pay refunded in one day. It was really oh. nice. So like basically you could say skills that you train them and then it makes certain attributes more or something? Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it literally was an attribute enhancer. Ah, uh -huh, okay. So it was like training skills to train skills faster. <laughs> it was weird, but... Yeah, it sounds a bit... I can understand why they removed it. It sounds a bit redundant. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, th the, the reason why they took it out was because, like, a lot of new people, that's all they were doing at the start, and they weren't really making any progress. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine that must be a bit of a buzz skill as well. Thanks for the boost. All right. I am jumping. You ready? Yep. Okay, jumping. Charybdis Tyrannos. Okay, the null charges are number one. And then just go for any cruises after them. They all seem to be pretty, okay, okay. pretty bland. We can actually go to the right, to be honest. There's there's Deviant Automatic Suppressor here messing with us. I hated those guys. The short range ones are horrible because of the so effective. Try keeping your shields at max in the Charybdis Tyrannos wave just in case of wrecking shots. Yep. So it's okay to use a bit of extra cap. Charybdis is also approaching us for some reason. I don't know why. It's strange because the AI of Charybdis usually is to keep range because he's approaching us. Would be a good change, actually. Yeah. yeah. I hate it when it keeps range. It's orbit at 500. You can orbit Charybdis at 500 if you want. Actually, a really nice change. Yeah? I don't mm. know if that's the same for the wormholes as well. It looks like he's anchored onto this uh, cruiser. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's totally anchored. Oof. I've got like a almost full cargo. I've got a ton of loot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've got, gonna, 
So from these two sites, like two rooms, 84 million. Sweet loot, delicious. Okay. We're interested to see if he unangers himself and just starts heading away. Yeah. So a lot more chill it feels. Because the wrecking shot from Caribdis Tyrannos in uh, T4, in T, I think in T, um, T6 is 9k, T5 is like 7 something k. Mm -hmm. And I think in uh, T4, it's like 5 something K Omni. So we have enough to survive. We might bleed a little bit into armor, I think. We can always go in defense mode if we really need to. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to track us at this range anyway. Nah. But just looks in like case. His all the ice kicked in now. He's just trying to pull away, but yeah, exactly. we've got him pinned because we're all button, obviously. Well, I'm using a bit too much robot repair on you, draining my capacity. <laughs> my Dractor's too altruistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, go in defense if you need points. to. Yeah. Make sure you take out the snare caster and the sparks afterwards. Make sure you're shooting as well. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're taking a lot of damage right there. That's these rogue drones, you never underestimate them. They, <laughs> they can always uh, bite you when you least expect it. Oh, are you using uh, your medium shield booster? You're using your medium shield booster, right? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got it on, dude. I, oh, I was yeah. overheated, drugs, the lot it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm surprised how I've stabilized now, yeah. You're using multi spectrum, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on. Yeah, okay, okay. I was just surprised. Not a scrub, you know, dude. <laughs> I know, you're not. I just, I was surprised. <laughs> I, I, was, uh, I was surprised as how much damage you're taking, that's all. I think it was just when the webs got on, dude, that was all. Yeah. And then probably also the spark. There were spark drones to EM damage, more damage they take. Yep. Yeah, just a simple slip. I watched a guy lose his um, Vedmak in a, the Abyss this morning on his stream because mm. he wasn't concentrating. It was only a tier 2 as well. I was like, bro. The Vedmak is... I'm not a big fan of the Vedmak because just the resists are not that great. If they were yeah. good, then it would be a lot better. The Ikitas is really good in that regard. Yeah, just simple things. I mean, I was using my... Cerberus that I had like ultra blinged out like the pod and everything like mm. eight bills worth or something and Started the stream one day and I just jumped it into like a T4 just the easy thing and I literally nearly died about 30 <laughs> seconds later, dude. I, was like, I was literally in hole mate. <laughs> I was like I couldn't believe what was happening I might have was he streaming and doing that? I might have seen that on stream. I'm not yeah, sure. Maybe you talked yeah. about it on stream All right, let's well, see now. What is the total haul from this run? 101 million Nice. We pretty much paid yeah, back from. I think we've almost paid back one of these jackpots now. I'm jumping now. But that's so cool about these like jackdaws. They're not super. I mean, they are not like dirt cheap, but they're not super expensive either. So we pay back them very quickly. Like we just do a few mm -hmm. sizes, just got the ship back. Already replaced, as they say on Zekiel. That's a good saying. Mm. Sweet break time, man. Yeah, sure thing. We are. Um, Probably, I'm probably gonna like have tea time and that kind of stuff. Where do you dock up in perimeter or you've just been sitting there on the abyss site the whole time? I was just uh, sitting on the abyss site, yeah. yeah I'll okay. just, I'm gonna scoop out a jet on it. Mm, okay, cool, cool. Right, that was some stuff. nice loot. Let's see now, how much was it in total we got from these few sites we did? You're obviously lucky with the skill book right there, but still. 294 million total, just like that. And he obviously nice. divided by two, but still. What is this? It's gone maybe like half an hour, something like that. We took a bit of time to prepare. Maybe 40 minutes, something like that. We've got 150 million is if each, basically. But decent, not decent, bad decent. at all. <laughs> uh, but I think this was uh, some good runs, though, Zach. Uh, mm -hmm. I, felt, I felt like it was also it was a good day. It was like, obviously, we had some intense moments sometimes, but I mean, it was nothing really that we couldn't handle. Keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it would obviously be not be as fun if it wasn't for those kind of moments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. T4 Dark Abyss in Duo Jackdaws in the social fit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check Zach's channel out in the link in the description below. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.